Welcome to part 2 of Reservation Signs. If you haven't watched part 1 of Reservation Signs, it's recommended to do that first, before watching this episode. Also be sure to watch the next episode, part 3, where we will discuss parking reservation signs. In this video, we will have a look at reservation signs that reserve a particular lane, for the exclusive use of specific vehicle classes, or road users. We will also look at signs that indicate where a reserved lane begins. And lastly, we will have a look at reservation signs that indicate stopping zones for specific vehicle classes, or road users from a specific organization. Let's start with reservation signs that reserve a particular lane, for the exclusive use of specific vehicle classes, or road users. These signs also display the letter R, together with a symbol for the class of vehicle, or type of road user, because it reserves a portion of a roadway, designated as an exclusive use lane. Take note of the yellow dotted line displayed on the sign. This indicates the presence of a reserved lane and shows you on which side of the dotted line the reserved lane is located. In other words, if the reserved lane is positioned on the left or right hand side. Reserved lanes will also be marked on the road surface by an exclusive use lane line and word or symbol markings. We'll discuss road markings in another video. Reserved lanes are for the exclusive use of the vehicle class or road user indicated on the sign. The indicated road user may use the lane if they prefer or choose to do so. But it is not compulsory for them to drive there. They are also free to use another part of the road, not indicated by the road sign, if they prefer. No other road users are allowed to drive in the reserved lane unless otherwise indicated by a road sign or road marking. For example, where a secondary sign shows that a lane is only reserved for certain hours of the day or days of the week. Other vehicles may only cross a reserved lane if they cannot otherwise enter or leave premises adjacent to such lane, and then only when it is safe to do so. Where it comes to intersecting side roads, it is normal practice to stop the relevant road markings a sufficient distance in advance of an intersecting road to avoid confusion for turning traffic. Let's have a look at some reserved lane signs that you might encounter on the road. This is a lane reservation sign for pedal cycles. The sign can be found on any road, especially in urban areas. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by pedal cycles. If you are riding a pedal cycle and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to ride there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are not riding a pedal cycle, you may not use the designated pedal cycle lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses. If you are driving a bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the designated bus lane at all. This is also a lane reservation sign for buses. However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving a bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the right-hand side, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the designated bus lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses and minibuses. If you are driving a bus or a minibus and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is also a lane reservation sign for buses and minibuses. 
However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving a bus or a minibus, and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the right-hand side, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses and midi buses. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses and midi buses. If you are driving a bus or a midi bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses, midi buses, and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses midi buses and minibuses. If you are driving a bus, a midi bus, or a minibus, and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for trams. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by trams. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved tram lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses and trams. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses and trams. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is also a lane reservation sign for buses and trams. However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for buses, trams, and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by buses, trams, and minibuses. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is also a lane reservation sign for buses, trams, and minibuses. However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for high occupancy vehicles. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by high occupancy vehicles meaning vehicles carrying more than a certain number of seated occupants. In this example, 12 or more persons, as indicated by a number displayed on the sign. This includes the driver, together with the number of seated passengers. Note that vehicles transporting persons in the load box, or on the back of a vehicle, are not regarded as high occupancy vehicles. It only applies where persons are seated on seating provided inside the passenger compartment. Where a lane is reserved for high occupancy vehicles, it will not be necessary to use multi-symbol signs, since high occupancy vehicles, by definition, may include all vehicle classes with the indicated number of seats occupied. If you are driving any vehicle, carrying the number of persons as indicated on the sign, or more, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving a vehicle with a lower number of seated occupants, in other words, in this example less than 12 persons, you may not use the reserved lane at all. 
This is also a lane reservation sign for high occupancy vehicles. However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving a high occupancy vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the right hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are not driving a high occupancy vehicle, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is a lane reservation sign for authorized passenger transport vehicles. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a lane on the left-hand side is reserved for exclusive use by authorized passenger transport vehicles, as indicated by a crest or logo displayed on the sign. If you are driving an authorized passenger transport vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are not driving a vehicle as authorized by the logo or crest on the sign, you may not use the reserved lane at all. This is also a lane reservation sign for authorized passenger transport vehicles. However, in this instance, it shows that the reserved lane is located on the right. If you are driving an authorized passenger transport vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated lane on the right-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are not driving a vehicle as authorized by the logo or crest on the sign, you may not use the reserved lane at all. Now let's have a look at signs that indicate where reserved lanes begin or start. The curve on the lower end of the yellow dotted line indicates that this is the beginning of a lane reserved for the exclusive use of the class of vehicle indicated on the sign. This is a start of bus lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses. If you are driving a bus and you encounter the sign, you may enter the reserved lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of bus and minibus lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses and minibuses. If you are driving a bus or minibus and you encounter the sign, you may enter the reserved lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of bus and meaty bus lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses and meaty buses. If you are driving a bus or meaty bus and you encounter the sign, you may enter the reserved lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of bus, meaty bus, and minibus lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses, meaty buses, and minibuses. If you are driving a bus, meaty bus, or minibus, and you encounter the sign, you may enter the reserved lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. 
This is a start of tram lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by trams. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of bus and tram lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses and trams. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of bus, tram and minibus lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road or portion of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by buses, trams, and minibuses. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. This is a start of high occupancy vehicles lane reservation sign. The sign can be found on any road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate where a reserved lane on the left-hand side begins and that the lane is reserved for exclusive use by high occupancy vehicles, meaning vehicles carrying more than a certain number of seated occupants. In this example, 12 or more persons, as indicated by a number displayed on the sign. This includes the driver, together with the number of seated passengers. Note that vehicles transporting persons in the load box or on the back of a vehicle are not regarded as high occupancy vehicles. It only applies where persons are seated on seating provided inside the passenger compartment. Where a lane is reserved for high occupancy vehicles, it will not be necessary to use multi-symbol signs, since high occupancy vehicles, by definition, may include all vehicle classes with the indicated number of seats occupied. If you are driving any vehicle, carrying the number of persons as indicated on the sign, or more, you may enter the reserved lane on the left-hand side if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to drive there, and you may also choose to use another part of the road. If you are driving a vehicle with a lower number of seated occupants, in other words, in this example less than 12 persons, you may not enter the reserved lane and should move out of this lane immediately. Now let's have a look at signs that indicate reserved stop zones. These signs mean that a portion of the road is reserved as a stopping zone for passenger transport vehicles of a specific vehicle class and organization, as indicated by the symbol, crest or logo on the sign. It also indicates to those drivers that they shall only stop there for the purpose of immediately taking up or dropping off passengers. This is a stop zone reservation sign for minibuses from a specific organization. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a portion of the road is reserved as a minibus stop for minibuses from a specific organization. Only those vehicles may stop there to pick up and drop off passengers. The organization's crest or logo will be displayed on the sign. If you are driving a minibus from the indicated organization and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated stop zone to pick up and drop off passengers. No other vehicles are allowed to stop there. This is a stop zone reservation sign for buses from a specific organization. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a portion of the road is reserved as a bus stop for buses from a specific organization. Only those vehicles may stop there to pick up and drop off passengers. The organization's crest or logo will be displayed on the sign. If you are driving a bus from the indicated organization and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated stop zone to pick up and drop off passengers. No other vehicles are allowed to stop there. This is a stop zone reservation sign for trams from a specific organization. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a portion of the road is reserved as a tram stop for trams from a specific organization. Only those specific trams may stop there to pick up and drop off passengers. The organization's crest or logo will be displayed on the sign. 
If you are operating a tram from the indicated organization and you encounter the sign, you may use the designated stop zone to pick up and drop off passengers. No other vehicles are allowed to stop there. This concludes part two of reservation signs. I'm excited to hear from you in the comments and please don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have. I'm always happy to answer and clarify things for you. As usual, I'll leave important links in the description below the video too. Thanks for watching and see you in part 3 of Reservation Signs.